The dog was frozen in the snow, but what was underneath its belly allowed it to survive in a small town in Ontario, Canada. A fierce snowstorm concealed an act of love and courage that transcended species barriers. When a woman discovered a dog frozen in the snow, she would soon realize that there was more to this than meets the eye. Do you want to know what happened? Please listen to the story I'm about to tell you today. This story takes place in a tranquil town in Ontario, Canada, where people led simple and relaxed lives. Winter had arrived forcefully that year, covering the landscape in relentless white snow. Despite the challenges brought by the weather, kindness and love continued to shine in the hearts of its inhabitants. The protagonist of our story is a dog named Donna, a stray German shepherd who roamed the streets in search of food and shelter. Donna had been abandoned by her previous owner and had learned to fend for herself in this harsh world. Despite the adversities, Donna maintained hope of one day finding a loving home with a family that truly cared for her. For this reason, the dog was friendly to all passers-by. One evening, while Donna sought shelter from the cold snowstorm, she heard faint meows coming from nearby bushes. Intrigued and concerned, Donna followed the sounds and found five completely abandoned kittens that had been separated from their mother, a total mystery. But the truth was, these kittens were trembling from cold and hunger. Despite being different species, Donna felt an inexplicable and undeniable connection with these vulnerable babies. It was as if her maternal instincts suddenly awakened, compelling her to protect these desperate little creatures. Regardless of whether they were cats or dogs, this dog knew they were living beings in distress, and her heart wouldn't allow her to turn away, just as someone had once done to her. With great effort and courage, the German Shepherd dragged her tired body toward the kittens, battling the furious snowstorm and icy wind. Her paws sank into the snow, and her muscles screamed in pain. Once beside them, Donna huddled around the kittens, using her large, furry body as a shield against the relentless cold. Even as her own strength waned and her body trembled from the cold, Donna refused to move, determined to keep the kittens warm, even at the cost of her own life. Thus, amidst the chaos and despair of the snowstorm, Donna showed an act of love and sacrifice that transcended species barriers. Despite being different species, this dog felt a strong urge to protect these vulnerable babies. Throughout the night, the brave dog protected the kittens, willing to sacrifice her own comfort and well-being to keep them alive. The next morning, Lila, a kind-hearted 35-year-old woman, woke up early as usual, preparing for another day's work at the local grocery store. Although she was accustomed to cold mornings, the chill of this day seemed more biting and challenging than ever before. However, being a diligent woman, she wouldn't allow this situation to deter her. She put on thicker clothes and checked her scarf, gloves, and boots again before leaving home, ensuring she was well protected against the cold. Satisfied that she was adequately shielded from the cold, Lila opened her door and stepped into the chilly day. As she walked on the snow-covered road, snowflakes began to swirl around her. Despite the cold, the woman couldn't suppress her admiration for the beauty of her surroundings. It was then that she noticed something unusual, an owl in the snow that seemed out of place in that perfect scenery. Driven by curiosity, Lila approached the owl, concerned that it might be injured or in trouble. With each step closer, her heart raced with anticipation for what she might find. When Lila arrived, she discovered Donna shivering from the cold. But what was incredible was what was underneath Donna. A strange lump that could only be discovered when she got closer to the little dog. It turned out that she was protecting five kittens. The scene underneath Donna deeply moved Lila, and from Donna's eyes, she saw love and determination that drove her to protect these little lives despite her own suffering. In that moment, Lila established an instant connection with Donna, the brave dog risking her life for other lives. In fact, seeing Donna with the kittens made her involuntarily shed tears, overwhelmed by emotions and sadness for their condition. However, Lila knew she couldn't leave them there, she had to act immediately if she wanted to save this dog and her kittens, otherwise, the risk Donna took would be in vain. With determination, 
she picked up her phone and called the pet and wildlife rescue, willing to do everything in her power to ensure the welfare of these animals that had deeply touched her heart. The rescuers arrived promptly, taking Donna and the kittens for medical treatment and shelter. Donna and the kittens were examined and treated, despite being exhausted and malnourished, the German Shepherd never left the kitten's side, ensuring their comfort and happiness. The building staff were amazed by what the dog had done for the kittens, almost as if she were their real mother. This prompted them to start sharing the incredible story on social media, quickly spreading Donna and the kitten's story throughout the community, moving everyone with the courage and love the dog displayed on that cold night. Meanwhile, at the shelter, the staff tirelessly worked to ensure the animal's health and happiness. Bella couldn't adopt them as she lived in a very small apartment, but every day after work, she visited the dog and her kittens to ensure they were doing well until they found a home. As time passed, the kittens began to recover, gaining strength and vitality under the care of their new foster family. The shelter's staff also helped Donna regain her health, restoring the shine to her once radiant coat. Although there were no signs of the kittens' owners, the shelter staff didn't lose hope and aimed to find them a loving home. Soon, the story reached the ears of a family living on the outskirts of the town, touched by Donna's kindness and sacrifice. They decided to visit the shelter to meet the brave dog and her kittens. Upon arrival, the family was captivated by Donna's gentleness and the kittens' adorableness, moved by the special bond formed between them. The family made a decision that would change everyone's lives and was the best possible outcome, adopting Donna and all the kittens. They knew it would be a huge responsibility. However, they also understood that this was an opportunity to give these animals a warm and loving home they deserved. On one hand, they felt sad about having to separate from them but knew it was the best choice, finally allowing the German Shepherd Donna to have the life she deserved. Donna and the kittens were taken to their new home, where they received hugs and cuddles. This family provided them with a warm and safe haven. Comprising a German Shepherd and her five kitten children, the family quickly adapted to their new life. Donna continued to care for the kittens as if they were her own, teaching them to play and explore their surroundings. Over time, the kittens grew into beautiful and healthy adult cats. While each developed their own personality, they all shared an unbreakable bond with the dog that saved their lives. Donna found the love and security she had longed for in her new family. Donna and the Kitten's story became a legend in the Ontario town, a compelling testament to love and compassion during difficult times. Their story inspired others to open their hearts and homes, providing shelter to animals in need, fostering greater awareness about the importance of animal adoption and care. In a small corner of Canada, Donna and her feline family lived happily and surrounded by love, always remembering that cold night when a homeless dog and five kittens found the warmth of love and hope together. That's today's video. We hope you really enjoyed it. But now it's your turn, answer these questions and join the discussion. What did you learn from this story? Did you like what Donna did for the abandoned kittens? Do you know other stories about interspecies love? Share your thoughts in the comments. You can also give us a thumbs up to let us know you enjoy our content, and we'll keep making more videos like this. Goodbye, looking forward to seeing you next time. Let's go on. Bears may engage in aggressive behavior towards humans even when they are not hungry, usually to protect themselves or protect their cubs. Bears living in the depths of the wilderness don't know enough about humans and avoid them. However, this does not prevent them from coexisting, everything in this world is balanced and interconnected, until the invasion of humans. Human overexploitation has broken this food chain, often wiping out entire animal species. Of course not all of them do such a thing, but even a small fraction can cause major disruption to natural interacting systems. Bears are constantly working to replenish their fat reserves for the winter, and their food choices reflect this. Bears are omnivores, but live mainly on plants and insects. They also eat other people's food, poach prey from other predators and eat newborn herbivores. This is low effort, high reward food. Salmon are an important item for bears along the coast, as they can sit in the throats of streams and the salmon will come to them. 
Chasing humans provides very little nourishment, and bears will attack and kill humans, but only if threatened. Hunting humans is almost unheard of. If you put a bunch of food in your tent, the bear might take a bite, the same way you get candy at the cash register when you're already there after all. Put the same food in a bag and hang it on a tree so you are safe. A smart bear might still get food, but they almost never pass a sleeping human a few hundred feet away. It so happens that some people harm nature without thinking about the consequences, while others try to right wrongs to restore balance. It is the eternal interplay of good and evil. If one person gets the chance to help, the whole world really does get a little bit better. Set in a picturesque location in eastern Russia, near a very dense tall forest, this story tells of the collision of good and evil actions, and a miracle happens. I'll tell you everything from the beginning. This happened in early spring, when the forest was still growing relentlessly. Nearby villagers will go fishing. There are also a lot of mushrooms and fish by the river, and the locals often grab them and eat them. The woman was collecting money that day. She decided not to take the boat because the days were short and she wanted to be home before sunset and the river was high and there were all kinds of things in that river. But she hopes to catch some mushrooms and fish, which will be a very good catch for her camping. The woman chose a fairly open spot near the river, with few trees or bushes. The entire area is clearly visible within tens of meters in all directions. Slowly learning that the more fresh fish she gets in the first place, the sooner she can go back. After the death of her husband, the woman supports her family doing her favorite hobby. Probably she caught the first fish within minutes and it turned out to be a rather large trout. The lady was happy and proceeded to do the same, and about 10 minutes later a rather large grayling and several trout splashed in her bucket. What a catch! What a great day! She was genuinely happy, so fascinated by the gathering process that she threw caution to the wind and stopped monitoring the land around her. It's a pretty dangerous place. When the woman pulled back the fishing rod again and caught a new prey, there was a rustling sound from behind. The woman turned around in horror and saw a bear cub a meter away, which had clearly smelled freshly caught fish from the forest, and now she stood by, watching her pluck with very hungry eyes. She knew that where there was a cub there must be a mother bear, so she quickly fed the cub some fish so that he wouldn't linger around. The cub grabbed the food that was handed to her and devoured it, but she didn't finish it all. She took the rest of the fish into her small mouth and walked briskly into the forest. The woman continued fishing after making sure the bear was gone. After a while, the catch near the shore stopped, and the woman realized that the fish must have just migrated to the middle of the forest, so she put on her wading boots and went deep into the forest to gather mushrooms and fish. This time, things moved faster. She was standing in the middle of the forest with a fish collecting stick, keen on collecting fish, and didn't notice anything approaching from behind. When she realized she wasn't alone, she looked back and was amazed at what she saw. Deep in the forest at her waist was still the bear, and he watched the woman catch the fish without moving. When the eyes of the woman and the beast finally met, the bear looked pitifully at the woman, who realized how hungry the poor little baby must be. He bravely walked up to the human, and got very close to her. Little bear stood beside the woman as she gathered in the middle of the forest. He watched eagerly as each new fish entered the bucket. When the woman had caught enough, she went to the shore. Little bear also ran to the shore, looking at the woman pitifully. Andre Philippe took pity on the animal and gave him some more of the fish he had caught. The bear quickly grabbed them, but did not eat them. He took them deep into the forest. Andre Philippe was very surprised by the unusual behavior of the cub and decided to follow him cautiously, trying to figure out what made him so close to a person in the first place, who did not immediately eat the prey he received, but hugged it into the forest. She wondered where the bear had taken the fish. She followed the bear, keeping a safe distance from it. At first, she ran along the path less traveled, dropping and picking up slippery fish repeatedly. But then there was an impenetrable bush in front of her. The woman tried to walk quietly behind the animal so as not to startle her. 
When the bear disappeared into the dense bushes, André Philippe gently pushed aside the thick branches and saw a large empty head, which was blocked by dense trees. What the woman saw in the clearing shocked her to the depths of her soul. A bear is lying in last year's hay. She was lying on her side, breathing very hard. Seeing the woman, she wanted to raise her paw pitifully, but failed. The woman realizes that the bear is in a bad condition and probably won't survive. Even today, judging by the red spots on her body, André Philippe guessed that she was probably injured by poachers, but she escaped from them and is now spending her last days hiding in this clearing, only her cubs try to help her at least live longer. This is what the bear cub managed to get from a human by bringing her these two fish. André Philippe realized that she must help this poor animal, no matter the cost. Without hesitation, she dashed back to the river, grabbed the day's harvest, and dashed back into the bushes. At that moment, she didn't think about what she would use to support her family today. All her thoughts were on the bear, lying alone in the grass, and the cub, who was fearless and desperate to save his mother. André Philippe returned to the bear and without getting too close, she put all the fish in the bucket a few meters away from her head. She hopes the smell of fresh fish will make the bear stand up and walk a few steps to find food. The woman no longer bothered the animal, but hurried back to her village as soon as possible to report her discovery in the forest to the regional game department. That same day, Bear got help. Also, she was rescued. Who knows what the story would have been like if our protagonist hadn't been there that day. Or choose another place. But the bear was very happy that day, and a good person helped her and her cubs through his actions. She saves two lives, thereby showing the beast that not all people are bad or cruel. Let's enjoy another story. When Trevor, an elderly man living in Northern California, found abandoned puppies, it was natural for him to hide them and take care of them. Thanks to his Burmese mountain dogs, he was able to create a safe space for them to grow and feel safe. It was only when he got closer that he realized he had made a big mistake. Trevor and his wife Sarah retired to the Rocky Mountains of California. They want to escape the city where they have worked all their lives, away from the hustle and bustle. Sarah is a teacher and Trevor is an art curator, but they've been avid nature lovers all their lives, spending the weekend hiking in the mountains or renting a cabin whenever they can. It's their favorite life, so when retirement age creeps up, they just look at their big house and car and decide they don't need to worry about those things anymore. Their kids were old enough to have a family of their own and it seemed like a waste to have such a spacious home, so they went up in the mountains and they found a beautiful cabin that suited all their needs. They took their two-year-old Burmese mountain dog, Sarah, who was ecstatic to be out in nature, away from all the horrible noise pollution the city has to offer. The three of them are living the life they dreamed of. Sarah can draw and read in her free time, while Trevor makes it his mission to map the surrounding area himself. It was a unique task that allowed him to be both creative and liven up the terrain around the cabin. The rocky cliffs melt into the mossy forest floor where the trees tower above him every day. When he got home, he deliberately drew the forest from his own eyes, and what he saw and experienced that day. This is a passionate project. Over time, he soon had an entire wall of illustrations showing the beautiful surroundings of their home. Sarah also loves walking because she is able to explore until she is restrained. In her world, she is living the life a dog dreams of. Sometimes they see other domesticated dogs around, either from nearby homes or living in the mountains. Sarah approached them often and they became good friends. The only thing they didn't take into account was the weather. Wildfires in California are well known, especially in the north. This is not going to really affect the cities, since those live in the wild. Sarah has a radio connection to the local ranger's office in case of an emergency. Sure enough, when fire season hits, the radio is non-stop, and at first they feel very threatened and anxious. But after a few false positives, they started to relax. Worse, until one year, they had a really bad season. It was their third year or so in the forest and they got a fire warning and Trevor went out and came back 10 minutes later and they got an evacuation warning. 
Sarah was petrified, but Trevor remained determined, stubborn enough to feel that all the fuss was superfluous. How wrong he was that just two hours later, night fell and the sky to the east of their home was distinctly red. The fire was closer to them than they had experienced before, however Trevor remained calm, insisting they would be fine, he encouraged Sarah to go to bed and assured her that he would stay awake to monitor the situation, which is exactly what he has always done. Sure enough, to Sarah's surprise, when she woke up the next morning, she found that the fire had only bypassed their home. In the yard not far from them there was a terrible wind of destruction, and they could see from where the fire had burned through the trees and scared away all natural life. Trevor had spent months mapping his surroundings but it was completely different now, he was intrigued by the changes and how bad things were, he decided to explore the loss around them but he didn't know what will happen to him. Sarah was grateful to be able to get out of the house where she had been locked up all night, and she was curious about all the strange new smells in the air. Just 20 minutes into the walk Trevor caught a very interesting smell and looked around with his head almost in the clouds, marveling at how badly the fire had eroded the trees leaving only charred trunks. He looked for any bird life that might be returning, but all was quiet until Sarah started barking, to Trevor's complete surprise, which she had never done on a walk before. When he finally catches up to her, he sees exactly what makes her so excited, Sarah stops at the base of a log, and at her feet is a group of moving bodies, in different time periods cry. It was a litter of puppies, their mother was missing and they were visibly hungry, there were seven of them, all quite large. Trevor figured they must be big dogs that belonged to one of their distant neighbors. Deciding to let them follow him home right away, he managed to bundle them up in his arms and headed towards his cabin, having to readjust the writhing puppies quite often on the way home but he still managed to bring them all home and he was very proud of himself. In front of her are seven beautiful puppies, all in need of love and care. Sarah was perfect for the job and immediately started breeding the puppies and treating them like her own children. However, Sarah had to hand feed them as Sarah had no milk. Seeing her dog cuddling the puppies like a real mom was the sweetest moment. For a few days Sarah decided to give them both a bath, and until now, they'd kept them in black and gray so they wouldn't be further frightened or traumatized. She just puts them in shallow water and gently rinses their hair to remove all the soot. After the wash she saw some of the most beautiful hair, black and white irregular pattern puppy with gray and brown spots all over the place, they were really unique. It was only when Sarah came to the last pup that she couldn't help noticing how differently its fur had been washed. It is a deep chocolate brown that is very different from all other pups. She dried them and put them back with Sarah at supper time. Sarah tells Trevor how different the puppy is from its fur, which piques Trevor's interest. After the meal, Trevor approached the cat litter and immediately saw the strange one. He gently picked up the pup and took a closer look, when he screamed in shock and couldn't believe it with both hands was a puppy. No, no, it's a bear cub. Trevor rubbed his eyes several times to check if he was hallucinating, but was pretty sure the bear was still there. He screamed at Sarah and showed her, but she just laughed. She bathed the puppy without glasses, which would explain why she didn't realize it wasn't a dog but a bear herself. The two of them don't know how this happened, they just know that the cub is happy with his mother and that Sarah treats him the same. They quickly called wildlife rescue and explained to them that they had found the bear cub for sure and gave it to them as there was no way they would let a bear that thought it was a dog running around in the woods would make national news. Sarah and Trevor are delighted that they played a role in ensuring that such adorable animals as the cubs are given a second chance at life. As proud parents of seven dogs at the same time, they are slowly settling into their new lives.